back to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to, to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. Okay, guys, so if you are new to the channel, you are highly and welcome. If you have not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button and then also hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, guys, so in today's class, we are going to be doing a quick DIY. I'm going to be showing you how to insert bias in between your dresses so you can see it neatly finished. So you can see if you want neat finishing for your edges. So you can see the picture up there. You can use them on dresses, you can use them on skirts, you can use them on sleeves. So today I'm going to show you how to sew it easily. Okay, guys, so if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available. Presently, we have the beginner's class for those of you that want to start sewing from scratch. So you can register for that class. The class is a very detailed class and like I, I would say most people that have passed through that class at least they can really say that they got something really tangible from that class and then we also have the intermediate class for people that can sew already and then they want to move to the next level you can register for that class also and then we have the trouser and the jumpsuit class for those of you that want to learn how to sew perfect trousers and jumpsuit we have a ready to wear class for people that want to learn how to cut and sew and carry dresses and sell online and then sell on on location shops also you can register for that class we have an advanced class for people that can sew already, that want to upgrade. And then we have the corset class for people that want to learn how to cut and sew a perfect corset. So these are the classes we have available for this month. Just send me a message on WhatsApp to register. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be making use of a, a bustier four pieces for this. So you can see I already have it. So you can use any pieces of your choice. If you are making this kind of skirt, they are always good for like six pieces skirt, eight pieces skirt, 12 pieces tops, then sleeves. So now I'm going to show you. So I have my bias here that I'm going to use. So we're going to move over to our sewing machine. So we'll sew it easily and neatly. Okay guys, so welcome now. So I'm going to show you how to sew. So the first one we're going to sew, we're going to sew the one that is on the center front. So they actually have different ways of doing this, but this is like the simple one that I've been making use of and it has really worked for me. So I'm going to start it. I'm just going to sew it for where, how it is comfortable for me. So I'll take my piece like this so you can see my bias. So I'm going to open this is a smaller part. I'm going to place it here like this. So you see I'm opening it up like this. And then I'll sew, just sew it neatly to the end. doing this it's better for you to just sew them one after the other before joining everything together so with that it will be easier for you to navigate as you know i'm supposed to join this now to the center but i'm going to leave it i'm going to do this one also like this This is the part that has to bust here, so you can see I'm negotiating the core. Okay, so we can fuse. You now cut out your excess so we can fuse the sides together now. So this is the center. 
then I'm going to go ahead and take this like this. I'll match it together like this. You know, there's a way for you to do this if you your hand is not very it's not very straight. So I would advise for you to to fuse it together like this, that's you secure it down like this before adding before adding the other one. You understand? So with that it will be easier. But if not, you can add both of them together. Like this. This is this is the center front. You can actually do this, but it is easier, it is always better for you to secure it down. So with that, when you secure it down, it makes it easier for you. So let's secure it down. So how slim you want it, so you actually you can actually control it from here. Now, how slim you want it to come out. So now I'll take this part now. So with this now it will be very easy for me to do so. I'm going to take it like this and then from the back like this. So you know this is the second line that we use to secure it down. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sew, sew it in between the two, the two lines. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to sew it here, making sure that it does not get. So you see, when you sew it like that, it's going to make this side to pop out. So you use this part as guide, so you can see the, the rope. So you sew it in between. Don't come outside of this second line. So you come out on this side. I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to sew it as close as possible to that line that I was showing you earlier. So the truth of the matter is that for, for this kind of stitch, you need really stable hands. I'm going to go ahead now, open it up now, let's see what we got. So you can see, so you can see how beautiful it is looking, guys. So you can see, you see how slim it is. That's just like the secret of doing this. You see how beautiful and slim it is looking. So because we followed that line, like I said, like I showed you, so you can see, you see it to the end. So I'm going to go ahead now, do the second one also, and then I'll show you how it is looking so before i do this i'm going to join this one the one here i'm going to add it so i'll be able to join the other ones together
Okay, so I, since I have my center front now, so I've finished the side. I'm going to secure, I'm going to join the, the sides now, just like I explained earlier on. So you are just going to take it and then make sure you stitch it in between this. This is the one that we used to secure it down. So you're going to stitch it in between the both of them. So that's just like the, the trick of getting it. Okay, guys, so you can see. So, what I'm going to do now, I'll take it back to my ironing table and then I'll iron it and then show you how it looks. Okay, guys, so you can see at the end of the day, so you can see how our bias designs is looking like. So, it really came out well. So, at the end of the day, you can see this is how to actually sew those lines on your dresses, on your skirts. So if you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel. So thank you so much. So you see how the back is looking. All you are just going to do is you turn with your lining. And that's all. So thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.